The Google Display Network can help you reach customers while they're browsing their favorite websites, showing a friend a YouTube video, checking their Gmail account, or using mobile devices and apps. Today, the Google Display Network includes more than 3 million inventory partners. This can make managing your display ads increasingly challenging and time consuming. In this video, we'll discuss how responsive display ads use the power of Google's machine learning and your images and text to help you serve the right ads to the right customer. All you need to do is provide assets such as headlines, descriptions, images, and logos for Google Ads to help you make smarter, faster, and more impactful decisions. Responsive display ads are the default ad type for the display network. They merge legacy responsive ads, dynamic remarketing, and smart display ads into one single ad format. Your assets are the building blocks of your ads. Responsive display ads take these assets and use machine learning to create ads that reach your customers. Machine learning uses your historical performance data to do billions of creative A-B tests in order to pair the right message to the right user. Responsive display can show us almost any size text, image, or native format ad across the display network, YouTube, and Gmail. In turn, you'll spend less time managing ad portfolios and can dedicate more time to performance improvement. When setting up a new responsive display ad, include at least five headlines, five images, five short descriptions, a one-to-one -one logo, one long headline, and your business's name. Supply as many assets as you can, so Google Ads can mix and match the assets to create ads for each available ad space. Let's get started. Choose a Display Network campaign and navigate to the Ads and Extensions tab. Click the blue plus button and select Responsive Display Ad. Select an ad group. If you want your responsive display ads to support dynamic remarketing, make sure your ad group or its campaign is attached to a Merchant Center feed. For dynamic remarketing ads, feed quality will continue to be the driver of your ad's performance. First, define your final URL. This is the page that the ad will direct customers to. Now, select your images and logos. Enter your URL to scan to your website. Or, Choose from the free library of stock images and search for images related to your website, products, or service. Upload images or logos that meet or can be cropped to the requirements. Images should have a strong visual focus and minimal text overlay. Write a short headline. The short headline is the first line of your ad and appears in tight ad spaces where a long headline doesn't fit. Then, write a long headline. The long headline is also the first line of your ad and appears instead of your short headline in longer ads. Now, write up to five distinct descriptions. The description adds to the headline and invites customers to take action. Keep in mind that these headlines and descriptions can be paired together in any combination. So ensure that all of your assets work together. Lastly, enter your business name. Use the real-time feedback and scorecard to help guide you through creating an ad. Ad strength measures the quantity and diversity of your assets. Use any actionable feedback to improve the effectiveness of your ads. Before saving the ad, you can preview it on the Display Network, YouTube, and Gmail for mobile and desktop. Use the drop-down menu to toggle between ad formats. These are the most popular sizes and ad formats but since responsive display ads are built to reach across almost any ad space on the display network, they can show in thousands of layouts. Click Save to create the responsive display ad. After creating a responsive display ad, monitor the results for one to two weeks before making any changes to your creative assets. For more step-by-step -step videos on Google Ads implementation and optimization, check out the Google Ads tutorial on the Google Ads YouTube channel. If you have any questions or for more information, please visit Google Ads Help.